What's going on YouTube? OCD for EDC here. And what I got for your face balls today is something pretty special. So we're going to check this thing out together. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So first off, you can see that this is not your average Spyderco box. Uh, this box happens to be all matte black. And then it has the shiny black uh, logos on it. So you can see Abel Native 5 there. And on the sides of the box, you've got the USA made with the American flag. Really cool looking box. So, oh, I didn't even look at the back of it there. So you got the, the native five on the back. And let's see what it says here. Hand anodized, custom scales, individually crafted, exceptionally corrosion resistant LC200N blade steel. So, yeah, let's get right into this guy. So what we've got here is the collaboration between Spyderco and Able Reels. For those that are not familiar with Able Reels, they uh, do a lot of fly fishing stuff. Personally, I am not a fly fisherman. So you can uh, pause right there and read if you want to check that out. It actually is pretty cool to see, kind of hear the story about all the hand work that went into making this guy. Um, able reels i like i said i'm not a fly fisherman so uh, i did not know a lot about them but they certainly build some really really high-end uh fishing reels so yeah let's take a look at this guy and see what we got going on so there's three different versions of this knife at this point in time this one happens to be the rainbow trout version and in the paperwork here you can see the three different versions here. So they've got uh, rainbow trout. Uh, I'm pretty sure this one here is brown trout. And this one here is bonefish. So those are the three versions that they're going to, to make starting out here. And I'm not sure if there'll be any more after that. I know this is a limited production. I, I do not know how many of these they're going to build in total. But... What we have here is a native five, but it has aluminum scales instead of the FRN. Uh, and you can see that they're, although they're pretty flat here, um, they are sculpted and contoured around the edges. And check out the custom anno work here is just really, really beautiful. You can see all the little scales in there, the coloring. I mean, it looks like paint. It's pretty shocking to me that this is anodizing. Uh, but if you, like I said, if you've never seen Able Reels before, you should check them out online. They make some really beautiful stuff. And most all their reels are, are anode uh, like this. And apparently they're really known for their really impressive hand done anno work. So this is on both sides. And you've got standard spoon style Spyderco clip here. And it is four-way positionable. So right or left, tip up or down, carry. And it is a back lock, just like the standard Native 5. And you can see here, this is a collector club version. This is number 16. And you can see the Able logo. And then, of course, the Spyderco logo with LC200N. And then on the back side of the blade, we've got Golden Colorado, USA Earth and the LC200N blade steel there. So really beautiful knife. The the uh, aluminum scales are, are just amazingly comfortable. Um, this thing fits my hand. It's, it's spectacular, actually. It just melts into the hand with these sculpted areas here. Just really, really nicely done. That forward choil is just absolutely beautiful. And, of course, you've got the jimping across the, the top of the blade there on the spine, as well as on the lock bar. You have a little bit of jimping. And the backspacer there is just, I'm assuming that's aluminum and just anodized black. You do have a lanyard hole. And there is no uh, milling on the inside of this guy, as far as I can tell. And... I do, I'm pretty sure this guy, we'll see if we can 
if I can get this light in here to see. Yeah, you can see the little bronze color there. So this guy's riding on phosphor bronze washers. And I'm pretty sure that I read that the back lock or the lock bar on this guy is also LC200N. I'm pretty sure. Um, so this thing is going to be incredibly corrosion resistant. And yeah, just check out the anno work, man. It is just absolutely gorgeous. You can see some of the spots going on to the backside there. And the, the scales, the little bitty scales that you see are actually kind of milled. I think they're, I don't know if they're lasered on or if they're milled because they do have a little bit of texture to them. It's very, very faint, but just beautifully done and really, really nice artwork on this knife. <clears throat> so. The Native 5, uh, because I don't have any other art knives like this, I'm not really going to uh, compare this to anything else, but I will give you the dimensions on this guy. So <clears throat> what you've got is an overall length of about 6.9 inches, so we're just under 7 inches long, and we've got a handle length of 4 inches and a blade length of 3 inches. You've got a cutting length of just under two and a half it's like 2.475 so that's what you're looking at for a, a cutting length there and the blade stock thickness on this guy uh, this particular one measures 124 thousandths although online the native five salt version uh, says that the blades the blade stock thickness is 130 thousandths so this one potentially you know, maybe they went a little thinner for this model. I don't know, but 124 thousandths is what this one measures. Behind the edge thickness, you've got, uh, depending on where you measure it, back here at the back, it's about 19 thousandths, and then it goes out to about 20. Uh, so kind of standard Spyderco behind the edge thickness there, but just a gorgeous, gorgeous knife. And like I said, the, the ergonomics on this thing are spectacular. So <clears throat> the standard uh, Native 5 lightweight, uh, what I found online, because I don't have one here, uh, standard weight is 2.5 ounces, and that is with FRN scales. And they do make a salt version of the knife with LC200 and FRN. Uh, they're yellow FRN scales. But this one here, being all aluminum, you know, certainly is going to be heavier. Uh, so let's get a get a weight on this guy here if I can zero my scale out there we go all right so 3.26 so we're just over that ounce and inch uh, mark on the blade there so three inch blade and 3.26 ounces but like I said guys I'm into this thing just melts into the hand uh, really really nicely done uh, balance point on this knife is right there about where you would expect and from what I understand I did do quite a bit of reading on this guy and this is a collaboration between Able Reels which is based out of uh, somewhere in Colorado I can't remember the name of the town and then they wanted to make a knife. Uh, I think they had made a, a, a few collaborations over the years, but certainly nothing this high end. And so they approached Spider Co. a while back, and it was a good fit. You know, of course, both of them being from Colorado, I'm sure that played a big role in it. And so Spider Co. manufactured uh, the knife, and then the scales were sent to Able Reels to get this amazing anno work done. And you can see it's it's really beautiful. I mean, the thing is, I'm not sure exactly how they do this anodizing process. I wish I had better lighting because this really doesn't do it any justice. This thing is the depth of the color and the fading is just unreal. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm not sure how they do this, but it is really, really nicely done. So... Uh, this is not a knife that I am going to disassemble. Uh, I don't want to take a chance on scratching this knife. But I did want to show it off just because it's such a beautiful piece. And the Native 5 is a really great knife. You know, like I said, ergos are 
fantastic. You know, it's a back lock, uh, just a nice kind of traditional pocket knife. The spoon clip, you know, of course, I'm sure anybody watching my videos has experience with this clip. It's just a great clip, works, works really well. Not a deep carry, so you're going to have a little bit uh, sticking out of the pocket, but, but man, is it a gorgeous knife. So anyone that's into fishing, especially fly fishing, you know, if you're into catching rainbow trout, man, this is a, an absolutely gorgeous knife. So anyway, guys, that's about it. I just wanted to show this guy off and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. It's certainly a beautiful piece. And uh, like I said, uh, you know, I'm not sure how many of these are going to be made. Uh, I know that I don't think Spyderco dealers are going to be uh, selling these knives. I'm pretty sure you can only purchase them from able uh, authorized dealers. So these are mainly going to be sold at like fishing uh, stores and that sort of thing. I'm not sure exactly uh, where all the able dealers are, but uh, but yeah, that's where you'll be able to buy these guys. And uh, to my knowledge, this is the first one that has come out. Uh, I don't know about the other two colorways if they're going to be released yet this year or if they're gonna, you know, have months in between each of their release. I, I really don't know that. So. Anyway, I just thought it was something that was really cool and wanted to show it off. So I hope you guys enjoyed checking it out. And uh, <clears throat> I've got a giveaway that's going on right now. It's uh, this video here is going to post on Friday. So, uh, yeah, the, the giveaway is going through Sunday. Uh, noon on Sunday is when it ends. So if you guys want a chance to win some cool gear, uh, check out that giveaway video. And, and yeah, good luck. Thanks a lot, guys, and have a great day.